イギリスで人気の高い女性シンガーのケイト・ブッシュがアメリカでも注目され始めましたもともと大学生の中では人気の高い彼女ですが新しいアルバムの発表を機に一般的にも知られるようになってきました Musician, producer, and dancer has been writing songs since she was a teenager in England. It seems only a matter of time till her appeal spreads beyond the American college students to capture a larger market in America. The last album, from what I can assume from the reviews and things that I've got in, got a very positive reaction from people here in this country. They really liked it. It wasn't, you know, a big known factor, but it was making its way through. Um, lots of little groups of people and gathering interest that perhaps has helped this one. Kate Bush has a unique style of recording. She is completely involved in the process of making her art from start to finish. Many other performers are rushed in and out of the studio because it is so expensive. Kate's answer was to build her own studio at her home in England. She spends most of her time at home in the studio. I now write in the studio, so from the word go, the ideas are being put onto master tape and remain in that form and then perhaps are layered on top of. So the production for me is as much as the lyrics and the tune are to making up what you get as an end result. I think what's interesting for me as a producer and songwriter is using different textures to create an image. A situation, an environment, a mood, and everything that you can get can be useful at some point in time. Kate Bush's versatility is also a big part of her videos. In her latest video, Running Up That Hill, she incorporates classical dance steps into the choreography. Kate doesn't rush through the production of her videos from her new album, and yet at the same time she sees videos as something very separate from her songs. It's another art form that takes a song to a person, but in a way it becomes its own entity once you put visuals with the song, it becomes something completely different from the song itself. Ideally, I would like people to hear the songs before they see a video of it, so that at least they're Imagination has a chance to choose it freely for a little while. Cheryl Washington, CNN, New York. Clarence Clemens.